It's all about sensors here at Leutzer Electronic, and I'm joined by Gary Hocken. Hello, Gary. How's the show going so far? It's early days, but it looks busy. It's been very busy so far. Yeah, we've had a hectic morning, so uh, yeah, it's very good. So, Leutzer Electronic, for anybody that's not familiar, tell us who you are and what you do. We are a German-owned uh, company who have been working with sensors since uh, they were first developed by Christoph Leutzer back in the uh, 1960s. So uh, we've been going for 50 years uh, plus and uh, in the UK since 1990. So primarily our products are optical sensor based uh, for detection, um, identification and safety. So what you guys don't know about sensors isn't worth knowing? We would hope so, yes. We would hope so. Okay, so you've got some great um, demonstrations here, and that's the lovely thing I think about sensors, they're so demonstrable, aren't they? Um, talk us through some of these, please. Yeah, at the front here, we've got primarily our machine safety products. So these are all to do with um, detecting people or objects to make sure that machinery remains safe and people don't get involved with, uh, with the, the machinery uh, and cause themselves injury or harm. So uh, that's what we're looking at at the front here. And we've got various technologies that we're using in order to, to provide that level of safety. Right, so let's have a look. So say we are on the workshop floor, the factory floor here, and we've got some machinery going on. This is to stop anybody's hands, body getting too close to the machine. That's right, yeah, this is what we would call a, a light curtain. So it's, a, it's an array of optical beams designed to prevent an invisible barrier um, to ensure that people don't get their arms or hands entangled with the machinery. So typically, if, uh, if you were to take the, the display there as the machine, then once you, uh, once you try and gain access towards the machine, you'll see that the red light comes on here. And um, so if I do that again, so it's a very simple on-off process so that um, you are reliably detected and every time someone tries to gain access to the machine then that will send a stop signal to the machine as soon as the light curtain's broken. So these are uh, infrared beams so you can't see them, they're invisible, uh, but they're there and every time you put your hand through then it stops the machine. So it's a very simple way of protecting the machine. So we've got this one which is you kind of on off and then we've got one here that gets a little bit more in depth because you can set certain parameters yeah absolutely this is a far more flexible system um, it's called a laser safety scanner and um, this is our latest model the rsl 400 and with this one you can cover much bigger areas so you can cover a robot cells car production lines and larger packaging machines and robots and you can actually decide on the size of the safety field that you need it's fully configurable so you can work out, depending on how long the machine takes to stop, and plus other factors like the size of the area you want to cover. So it, it's much more flexible. Uh, and if you decide that the machine operation changes somewhat, you can reconfigure the, the laser safety scanner to make it suitable for your new operation. So it's very, very flexible uh, in that respect. And you've got up to or over an eight metre range on this one. Yes, it's, it can cover up to an eight metre radius. So then that's obviously eight metres to the left, to the right and to the front. So it really is a, a huge area that you can cover with it. And any, any person or object that moves into that area, you can reliably detect and send a stop signal to the machine. So it works in effect exactly the same as the light curtain, but over it covers a much bigger area. Absolutely, that's fantastic. Okay, let's uh, move around to the next bank of demonstrations. Um, which one are we going to have a look at here? We, what we're looking at here is, is optical technology in terms of identification. So we're, before we looked at safety here, we're looking at identification. So here is a, uh, a 2D code reading camera. Um, it's the latest DCR200 from, from Leutzer. And it's obviously what it's doing here, if I slow that down a little bit, you can see there's a 2D code printed on that label. So as that flies around on the disc, the camera's capturing the image every time. So as you see here, you've got, at the back here, you've got your standard barcode, but what's going around here is your QR code, which we're seeing a lot more of these days. What is the benefit of the um, QR codes? Mainly it's in terms of the amount of data that the, the label information can hold. With a barcode, you're limited to the amount of data. Um, or you can expand it, but it tends to get very big. And obviously, if you're talking about packaging, everybody think, wants things in a small package. So to get the amount of data that you need on a standard barcode is quite difficult. It becomes very large and sometimes larger than the product it's actually on, which is obviously not what you want. By using the, the 2D code, data matrix or QR code, 
then you can get a lot more data in a small pack. Uh, and then by using uh, camera technology rather than barcode, you capture the image and, uh, and then you can read the data on there. So it's, uh, it's used in a lot in food packaging and also in electronics and is becoming more and more widely uh, accepted within industry these days, especially if you see a, um, a can of fizzy drink or crisps or something like that, quite often they now have a QR code on rather than a barcode. Things really are moving on at such a rapid pace in this industry, aren't they? And I guess you see that more than most in the sensor industry. That's right, yeah. It's very uh, very hard to keep pace, obviously, with the changes um, in packaging. We're quite lucky with being a, a family-owned company. We are um, able to invest a large amount of the money we make into product development. So we have a large development team constantly working on uh, customer issues and problems that they come to us and say, can you solve this problem? Can you solve that problem? So a lot of our product development is customer led. Yeah. So we've got uh, another demonstration here that we can have a look at. What is this sensor doing? Well, you've, got, you've actually got two, sen two sensors here, two different types, although they're in the same housing. Um, one is doing a purely detection uh, process. So if you look at the, the pots here, then it's purely detecting the fill level. So it's a simple pass or fail, depending on whether the pot is overfilled or not. Um, on this side here, you've got what is, looks in effect the same sensor, but it's actually measuring. So what it's doing is a height check between these two different objects. And the idea behind these is that rather than one sensing point, you've got multiple sensing points. So if you see on the, on the video here, the representation of all these different sensing points. So it's a bit like having lots of sensors all packaged together in one small object. So you get lots and lots of information from one sensor. So you've only got one sensor to wire to, and you've only got one sensor to set up, but you're getting a lot of information. And you can, you, you can configure that to say, is that, do we want to know the size of that object, the position of that object, or whether it's just a certain level? It really is about getting maximizing that data, isn't it, but keeping things simple at the same time. So the idea behind um, a lot of the Lloyds are designed these days is it's a, what they call usability, which I don't know if it's a real word or just one that uh, has been invented, but the idea being that the, the sensors have a lot of functionality, but they're very easy to set up. So you only want one set of, set of cables to go to the unit and one sensor to program. So you get from out the box to up and running in as quick as possible. So PPMA Group, why is it important for you guys to be here and what as a company do you get out of um, being here as exhibitors? Um, it's very important to us. We are associate members of the PPMA, so a lot of our customers are here as well. So you will see as you wander around the stands, a lot of machinery with Lloyds sensors on. So it obviously gives us um, a good point of contact to all our customers as well but also um, new customers as well, people that don't know us. Although we've been in the UK a long period of time, you know, there's still a lot of companies that don't know us, so it's good to have that exposure, people to come along, talk about maybe sensing issues that they have or safety issues, and see if we can come up with a solution for them. Well, thank you so much, Gary, for taking the time to show us around your fabulous stand. We wish you a very successful show. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers.